Guys, welcome to another episode of Dude I Love or Hate My New Ride. And today I have Brian and Sonny here. And Brian, you were here a couple months ago, several months ago? Yeah, in November, I think. Yeah, that, wow, that was a long time ago, long time almost. Ago, yeah. But you had a JL Correct. back then. But now this is your truck, right? Right. So this is a brand new 2020 Jeep Gladiator, but it's not any Gladiator. No. What is it? It's the launch edition. It's the launch edition, guys. And what we do in these videos and trying to help you guys find a great car or in this case, truck, the buying process, you know, where you guys got it, how the whole buying process was, what you like about the truck, what you don't like about the truck, et cetera, et cetera. So you can learn the real experience from real owners because you guys are real owners. Yes, we are. Hey guys, you've probably seen our 2004 Volkswagen Tour before. Well, before we bought it, we ran it through Car Vertical's VinCheck. Before you buy your next vehicle, get a 20% discount on a Car Vertical vehicle report by clicking on the link below. The detailed vehicle history will list any theft, accident, insurance claim, and maintenance issue with the car or truck you want to purchase. Peace of mind never costs so little. So let's start. And, and Sonny, can you show me around the truck and just kind of tell me the story? How did this come about? You bet. First of all, why did you decide to get a Gladiator? Well, we weren't actually in the market for a truck. Okay. We had a Grand Cherokee and it was eco diesel. So, and then, uh, like you said, he, we just got the JL. So we weren't in need of another vehicle at okay. all. Okay. I was super happy with my Grand Cherokee. It was like my minivan had all the bells and whistles. We didn't need another vehicle. It carried all my kids and, uh, Jeep came out with the Gladiator. Brian brought it to my attention and I yes. was like, mm, it's a truck though. It's yes. boxy, it yeah. has a long bed. I wasn't sure if I was crazy about the style. So uh, we were looking at uh, a Cherokee uh, Trailhawk mm -hmm. and reached out to our guy in Nampa, Kent Shirtliff, who we got the jail from. We actually ended up test driving one and, and we just were not happy with it. it, okay. it I, I was used to the it was too small fine or dining something. of okay. the Grand Cherokee. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the luxury of that. Uh, so we just kind of let it go and then um, we heard about the launch edition and we got kind of excited about that. We actually went to the Denver Auto Show and checked it out there and I still was on the fence about it there and then we were able to uh, go through Easter Jeep Safari on our way home from Oregon mm -hmm. visiting my parents and uh, I test drove one and I, that was it. I was sold. Let's go over some stats first of all. So V6 is the only engine available currently in the Gladiator. It's the 3.6 liter Pentastar and in this case it's an 8-speed automatic. Right. And 285 horsepower, 260 pound-feet of torque. Is this enough power, first of all, in your perspective, for this truck? From my perspective, absolutely more than enough, especially coming from the Eco Diesel, where you had a little bit of that lag, mm -hmm. that turbo lag. This doesn't have it at all. You, you're gone. No problems whatsoever. So let's talk about what makes the Launch Edition Launch Edition really quick. Okay, so the Launch Edition, you have the wheels. Okay, yeah, it's so special, special blacked out wheels, right? Right, the blacked out wheels. Okay, so <laughs> the other thing of the Launch Edition is you get this beautiful little emblem. Well, otherwise people may not know. <laughs> right, right, exactly. No, it doesn't scream, I'm a Launch Edition, I'm special. So you kind of have to look for it. So the interesting part is it says one of 4190, but yeah. it doesn't say what number. It doesn't say like your 100th. One. Nah, it's number one. Number one. <laughs> it is one, right? <laughs> no, yeah. That's it's, really important. It's a cool badge though. And then you have the leather on the dash uh, that the others don't have. And so that kind of fit what you were talking about because you said you wanted a nicer interior, right? Exactly. Yep. And that, that was, honestly, it sounds like a little thing, but it was a big selling feature for us just to get the launch edition for that. And how do you, uh, the interior, how usable is it? Is it comfortable? Do you like it? Is there something you don't like? Uh, you know, so far there is, I can't think of anything, honestly, that I don't like. Mm -hmm. Um, there are some things that it doesn't have that the Grand Cherokee had. It doesn't have the automatic, uh, uh, high beams. It doesn't have the automatic wipers. It doesn't have the ventilated seats anymore, but mm -hmm. that's because you can hose the whole thing out. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have the, uh, memory 
seats mm -hmm. so you can have two people push the memory button sure. and it yeah. doesn't have any of that but i don't miss any of that it doesn't have the dimming um side mirrors you've done a couple months already yes so let's talk about this let's start small and go big <laughs> so so a couple of months i see the antenna and yep. and tell me about this already a, a mod <laughs> yes i know well of course you have to change those ugly long stringy antennas that are just a nuisance they're up just up there yeah in the way so so what's the story here why would somebody do this this is uh just to fill in that space to protect the vehicle so that if rocks do get in there it's not so it doesn't scratch uh, yeah. scratch the yep. paint off or exactly. the fender or whatever else yep and then we got the mopar two inch lift uh, immediately before we picked it up they so at the dealership that. so yes. how was that process first of all tell me about the entire dealership process was it you went to Idaho from Colorado, first of all. We did. We did. And uh, the reason we did that is because our guy in Nampa gives us 14% under MSRP. And give, he'll give that to everybody. Uh, he hooked us up, made sure everything happened for us. And then the accessories manager, Derek, there, he gave us a call. And he said, hey, I've got these lifts. Mm -hmm. Got one with your name on it. If you guys want one, I have. I had 10. I've got six sold. And... If you want one, it's yours. We'll get it installed before you guys come by and pick it up. So we jumped on that right away. So the Jeep Wrangler and the Jeep Gladiator are some of the most accessorized vehicles out there, yeah. right? And so uh, they have a new division. Well, recently they created this Jeep Performance Parts, you okay. know, they call it. I mean, it used to be kind of called Mopar, right? And now it's a JPP, Jeep Performance Parts. And it's a two inch lift from them. So okay. it's tested for the truck. It's, you know, it's not really an aftermarket, so to speak. I mean, right. it's, it's an accessory that Jeep has approved and tested, and it has Fox shocks still exactly. and a two-inch lift. So, but these are stock tire size, right? Right, these are stock tires, yep. So these are 33s, 33s. Um, uh -huh. Falcon Wild Peaks, all terrains. Yep. And um, they also offer mud terrains, but how, how does this tire, is this kind of loud, comfortable? No. How, how does this? You know, to be honest, so when we when we picked it up, the dealerships, the PSI on the, all the tires, I think, is 47. And it's ridiculous. The pressures, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, it, it's really hunky to drive. So immediately, that's the first thing you need to do is get your PSI, PSI lower the PSI down to about 35, 36. And it makes it a little bit squishier and better. Long. Okay. Yes, yeah. No, it doesn't drive like a truck. Um, it doesn't feel like you're, you're uh, super high but it, you definitely have that uh, extra clearance. How much was the lift? It was 1900 out the door. That's pretty reasonable. Yeah. Install. 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 Yep. Um, yeah. Tell me about the best stop because the truck didn't come with this, no, right? No, it did not. This was uh, one of the first things we did on the JL, and so we knew we had to get it on this immediately as well. This thing is the best thing ever because it's two clicks, and you can open it up on the freeway or... Uh, you know, if you're stopped at a light, probably is more safe. <laughs> but I love it. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a must. Put down your visors. Unlock those two right there. And there's a little, sometimes I'm a little short. There's a little handle. And there you go. And that's it. And now you have a convertible. Well, let's get to the back of the truck. Um, so do you have like a trailer? Are you actually using it like a truck sometimes? We or We got a... Um, 75 inch brand new TV flat screen and it fit perfectly. The box just fit right in there. <laughs> okay, no problem. So you we heard it. Close this. You heard it here first. If you get a 75 inch TV, it fits. It was it made fit. for that. Are, are you anticipating? Are you going to tow a trailer or something, or is it mostly just a utility kind of a vehicle? I think it's mostly utility. We have motorcycles, dirt bikes, so we may end up using the bed for that one day, or we may end up just using a trailer and towing the bikes when we yeah but you have options wherever. right you can mm -hmm. load yeah. it so we may use it for towing but we don't have a boat nothing like that so a lot of people say that a gladiator is just a wrangler with a bed mm -hmm. but it's actually much more than that because they changed the frame the wheelbase obviously is much longer and the whole the whole thing the whole truck is longer than the wrangler and it's it has a higher towing capacity I mean, the Wrangler is about 3,500 pounds if you uh, equip it correctly. This is up to you know, 7,000 with the Rubicon. And the Rubicon is basically the off-road version of it. Right. So the most off-road worthy version. And you've improved it because you put a lift on it. Right. So, so, I mean, this is the way to do it. If you care about utility, in my opinion, um, 
utility, affordability, and kind of style, right? Right. Have you gone off-road yet? Yes. Already? So you've had the truck for how long? Uh, a week. And you've driven it from Idaho here, and you went off-road. Yes. <laughs> All right, so tell me about the cameras. So the camera, this is the front camera, uh, which is great because this doesn't actually have the, um, what do you call the, the sensors? sensors? The proximity, like yes. the parking sensors? Yes, it doesn't have the parking sensors. So mm -hmm. this is very handy so that you can see if you're... So not just for off-roading, uh, right. for parking yeah, anywhere. absolutely. But for off-roading, you know, when you're getting up to that cliff, you mm -hmm. don't know the clearance, You, this will show you exactly where, um, how close you are. And then this one for the back, mm -hmm. uh, you can zoom in to get a closer look or zoom back out. One of my favorite things about this truck is all of the storage that it has. Both these seats come all the way up and they're locking uh, storage cabinets underneath the seats and it goes all the way long so if you want to lock in say a rifle or fishing poles or you know your purse um, when you have all of the doors and the top everything's off you can lock everything up or you can take the whole thing out with you and, and did um, you get the speaker the little bluetooth yes speaker? it has the bluetooth speaker in the back nice that's a lot of fun so you have the removable bluetooth speaker here you just pull that little tab and it's waterproof very handy take it anywhere plug it back in and it's going to charge back up for you it's easy to get noticed in a jeep especially a truck like this what's your experience with that well, honestly, it's beyond what I was even anticipating. This thing, not only because it's a truck, but it is fire engine red. You know, it, it, it's actually firecracker red, yeah. uh, which we wanted and love, absolutely happy with this color. Um, but it stands out in so many ways. I get reactions from people like I'm flying a, a flying saucer. Uh -huh. You know, I mean, I have people speeding up on the freeway to catch up to me to give me a, a thumbs up you know and i have people um just kind of chasing you down you know where of course there's at. a jeep wave you know i mean other yeah, jeep owners people look at you like wait am i supposed to wave what is that you know? <laughs> yes. and then um every time i go somewhere in public i come out and there's a crowd of people there's like it has a fan club yeah i have people standing there googling it trying to figure out what is this thing how much is it where'd you get is it the custom job or is because yes, many yes. people don't realize that the gladiator is actually out from the factory now exactly. it's a proper truck and, and i think the, yeah. the um the general public doesn't really even realize that these are coming out so mm -hmm. people see it and they're like when, when did this happen where, where did this come from very cool final question uh, before we get on the road because i want to drive this okay um the final price. So, was it around 63 MSRP? Is that how yes. it worked? Okay. Yep. But you got a deal. Right. We got below with, with Peterson. MSRP 14% with Peterson. Well, that's that's really cool. I mean, because you know, some people say, you know, there's some, some dealerships that overcharge you yes. because this is kind of a hot vehicle too. Right. And would you do this again? Would you trade your Grand Cherokee for this? Oh yes. If you knew about it. 100% hands down, yeah. yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So it's fair to say you love your ride. I do love <laughs> my ride. <laughs> nice. Well, let's get on the road. Let's, okay. Let's see it moving. Let's go. So this Gladiator basically has every feature you can have on a Gladiator, right? That's, right. That's really handy. So you can kind of check a box and get, get your launch edition, right? Right. So I haven't driven the two-inch lift yet. So I didn't get to go to Moab. You know, Roman and Nathan always do, get that, do those cool <laughs> things. <laughs> So you said you already took it off-road, but where was that? Yeah. <laughs> we took it off-road in South Dakota. Okay, how was that? I mean, with the, with the lift, the way it, it is now. It was great. It was better than we thought it would be. It was, um, you know, we have the JL, which can get into s tinier little places, but this thing was, it blew our, blew our expectations away. Did you touch the uh, skid plates uh, anywhere? No. Nope. We didn't, but it, it was a pretty tough trail, so you know I had to get out and spot a few times. But it was awesome. It loved going off road. The breakover angle on the stock Gladiator is not the best. I mean, the wheelbase is so long, so I think the lift is a good idea. I agree. It, it really is a good idea, and it rides great. 
um, like you talked about, you know, decreasing your tire pressures just a little bit mm -hmm. just does a, does a lot. Mm -hmm. It really does. This Gladiator does have all the modern kind of safety tech, right? Correct, yes. Like adaptive cruise control. Correct. Which is it, up here now. It, right. Um, but there's one thing that I wish it had, like a 360 degree camera. And I'm sure they'll figure it out somehow, right? Do you really trust what's in the camera? Yet. Um, no, and especially like you showed me the front camera, right? Mm -hmm. So it kind of flattens the view. So what about modifications? Do you think you're kind of done for now? Or are you going to stuff a Hellcat motor under the hood? Or what's what's well, next? Well, you're driving it. I mean, it, do you it's, feel it's any okay. lack of power? No, you know? no. And, and what are we at? 6,700 feet right now? Um, well, we're about a mile above sea level right now. Right. Um, so my only complaint for power if you put a heavy trailer behind it sure mm -hmm. and then you would feel it but you're saying towing is not important to you right now right. so technically for daily driving I think it's just fine yeah. well, well thank you for bringing it by thank you thank yeah. you Brian no, no worries. yeah it's, it's always awesome to see you guys and and uh, now you have another Jeep in your family that's right, right? Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we are a Jeep family that's for sure <laughs> that's really cool <laughs>